Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. However, I have a little confession to make. I had a recording issue where I once again forgot to format the memory cards. So I'm going to start Ganon's Tower from the very beginning of it. So it's not going to be completely blind. But anyway, before we go over there, there's one thing left to do. Buy another Deku Shield once again. <laughs> And there we go, we now have complete inventory. For some reason, no matter how many times you buy this shield, you cannot skip this dialogue. <laughs> I know how to use a shield. So, there we go. Beautiful, complete inventory. Well, ex with the exception of the silver gauntlets, which will be golden gauntlets a little bit later. But yeah, there we go. Plus this is all complete. To Ganon's castle we go. Whoa, that was quick. Editing is magical. So here we are at Ganon's castle. Walk over to this edge right here. Little cutscene will start. Link, can you hear me? It's Raru the Sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda! And thus, the Rainbow Bridge has been created! Actually, I don't know what the heck the name it is. <laughs> uh, but it is very rainbowy. It is one, I mean, it is each color of each of the elements, basically. You know, the medallions that we collected. And now we can access the castle! Woohoo! So here we are in the first place. The first hallway. The entrance, and the best thing that you can do for these guys is they come right at you, and since they're humongous, you just hit them with arrows. Otherwise, they'll just kind of like push you back, and it's really annoying. As I said, this won't be completely blind because of the fact I have to redo this, but I think it'll make it a little bit better. Some things are fun blind, while other things are not. There's some armor skies up there. Just blow them up. <laughs> As you can see, I know what I'm supposed to be doing here now. And then we've got this guy over here. I'm going to show you something funny with this guy, actually. Let's activate him, and now let's get him to walk through this pillar. For whatever reason, he can walk through it, but I can't. That's not fair! <laughs> so, also, I already de-equipped my big Oron sword because I don't want to uh, be all cheap for the final dungeon of the game. I just used it for the time challenges of Agudo's training grounds because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to beat these guys uh, within the time allowed. So, yeah! And, oh, and those staff those enemies, I suppose. Because I, I believe some of those rooms are like only a minute or so. And there we go! The door opens. Now we're going to end up inside the main area, which is this. You're going to see that there's a ginormous barrier around the central area. Go ahead and touch it! It hurts. <laughs> it doesn't hurt all that much, but it still hurts. Now, this is the six barriers, basically. There's one for each element, like here's the forest one, there's the water one, etc. They all power this barrier in the middle. Uh, strangely, one can hold the barrier quite well. <laughs> so it doesn't require all six, it only requires one. I'm going to be going through these counterclockwise, starting with the forest one. And we've got the Staphos. Yep, yeah. good old Staphos. <sighs> Gonna take forever to defeat you. <laughs> this is why I switched to the, to the Bigoron Sword, because I don't, I'm not sure if I could beat these guys, plus those other Skulltulas in that one room. You know which one I'm talking about, you just seen those parts. <laughs> I don't have to repeat myself. So, yeah, I just thought it would make things a little bit more fun to watch as well. And after you beat these guys, you want to climb on top of the doorway. I'll show you how to do that in a second. That doorway over there with the torch. And simply climb up there with your hook shot. Well, long shot. I, I did it again, I swear. I will never, ever get that right. Ever since I I, I got the long shot. <sighs> right, try to aim for that side so you don't get knocked off the edge accidentally. It's kind of a glitchy odd edge. You'll know what I mean if you miss hit that torch and grab that key. 
Now over here, you want to go over to this edge and shoot this eye. That fan doesn't get in your way in the slightest. <laughs> and open this for a kind of weak reward. But I suppose you do sort of need them in this room because on the other side there is a ice covered eye across there, right there. Perfect shot. And that creates, well, not creates, it makes the chests appear over on that side. Now what you want to do, there's no way, there's no other way around this, or at least I don't think there is. Just try and get yourself to hit that treasure chest. It's kind of tricky though. Get a bomb out. Look out! No, that's not going to end well. This isn't going to end well. <laughs> don't touch me. No, please do not. Oh, I was trapped. Oh, whatever. What's in here? Bombs. I guess that's useful. You don't have to clear out all the enemies, I think, in this room to get anything. Or at least that's what I'm betting on. I, I'm really hoping because I didn't do that on my other playthrough of this. Anyway. Yeah. Good, go, 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 go. Okay. We are safe. Throw a bomb there. Try and blow it up. Good. And get over here. Get... Try and kill this guy, because you're gonna need to get him out of your way. Very nice. Now, get out your ocarina. You'll notice that there is a Song of Time block over there. You couldn't miss it. You can even see when you entered the room. Get very close to the edge. This is very... Oh, wait, wait, did you see that? See that bomb all the way down that pit? <laughs> Goes to show that the bottomless pits are not bottomless. This block right here, though, is very, very finicky. I don't know why it is. But it only seems to react to your song when you're about that close to it. <laughs> You'll notice that there's a statue statue up there. Statue, 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 statue. <laughs> I don't know why I stuttered my words there. It's not hard to say statue. It wasn't a tongue twister either. And it drops onto that tealish, bluish, greenish switch, which opens the door. And that's the end of the forest section, basically. Uh, there's always a couple pots at the ends of these rooms here. Just break them open if you'd like to recover some of your stuff. I'd actually recommend that you do that and get out your light arrows. Shoot through this barrier orb thingy because apparently this thing is the thing that controls or activates or lets the barrier continue to run. I don't know how it works. <laughs> and then the sage of the area will appear and sort of give you a little bit more encouragement. I guess. <laughs> The sage will also sort of teleport you out of the room, which is pretty handy, I have to say. And there we go. Five left. Just go around the room, and I'm going to head over to the ice barrier next. Yeah, it's actually the... Well, it's a water slash ice barrier. This is why I said I didn't actually play it totally blind at this... Well, I, I, I've never played it. I mean, I haven't... I'm not playing this game blind, excuse me. I'm getting my words mixed up, though. But I, I'm not get, I'm not playing this game blind. Uh, I'm going to kill these guys first, actually, first and foremost. Because they're really going to get in my way. Like, that one almost got in my way. And I hit you through the water. But anyway, as I was saying, because I have to restart the dungeon, I know what's coming, and I know the puzzles and stuff like that. Where is the other guy, though? The, these guys appear randomly, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's something that, no matter what, you're going to have to figure out each playthrough. Now, here's something really stupid. See that dead hand? <sighs> Not the icicle, but you see that dead hand over there? Get out two bottles, just to make things a little convenient, and get out your fairies. You don't really need them at this point, but the reason why you want two is because the next room will also require you to use two fairies. There's a chest in this room that you have to melt the ice to get out, as well as a... Uh, no, 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 I don't think so. Anyway, there's a switch behind that wall. I don't know how people are supposed to figure that out. I suppose they expect you to try and hit that dead hand, and then what happens is that you accidentally hit the switch, and that's how you're supposed to find it. But hitting the dead hand directly does not do anything, so that's kind of a stupid hiding place. Anyway, there's a chest here. The reward, not really worth it. <laughs> I'm just going to get it for the sake of completion. Yeah! And you get a red rupee. I suppose that um, that fills up my wallet from, you know, the that extravagant 40 rupees that I spent on a Deku shield. 
and melt that. Now just do that one more time. You want to get two more uh, blue fire in your bottles. Oh wait, there is a switch where that hand is, isn't there? Isn't there? Right? No, there wasn't. Hmm. I just wanted to check that for the fun of it. Yeah, I think the switch is behind that wall. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yep, it is definitely behind the wall. That's so stupid! <laughs> but you want to get two more uh, bottlefuls of fire. How it continues to burn inside your bottle is beyond me, but anyway, use the key that you got from the forest place and go through this door. So you to a new area, get out your bow. That's all you need in this room. And there's all, every every kind of keys actually in this room. Uh, you want to probably shoot them from a distance though. Uh, I'll just take care of the lower ones first. There's an invisible one on this rock. Like that. Oh, gotta get the fire. Ah, I'll just let them dive bomb me if they want to. <laughs> this is a silver rupee room as you can see. Um, but it has, it's, the puzzle is that you have to push the blocks a certain way to get to the last silver rupee, which is up there, as well as find the way to <laughs> get up to that door. You, you are going to go the way of the dodo. <laughs> if I can hit you with this super sensitive, there we go. What you want to do first is climb up and, well, those hearts kind of would come in handy, but yeah, I'll collect a few of them, what the heck. Next one is over here above this pit. You gotta kind of finesse this one there. Down the pit is the next one. Such a cheery little tune it, it plays when you grab one of them. Um, where? Oh, pff, there it is. It's number four. Now, to get a block over there, what you have to do is... Wait, wait, act. Which, what was the order of this? I kind of forgot. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, it was... Push this block into the... No, 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 no. You actually have to reset the room to finish this room. It's kind of silly, actually, but you have to do the silver rupees first. Push that block into that hole that way. Um, so I guess the designers are expecting you to have a tiny bit of standard game knowledge in that when you leave a room, things reset. <laughs> so... That's how this one was designed. It's actually kind of nice in that the designers actually acknowledge that you can, you know, that you're supposed to be able to reset rooms and stuff like that for once. Because normally what you can always do a room on your first try uh, when you go inside it. Anyway, here's your silver rupee. Just pour some fire, that sounds weird. <laughs> Melt it, grab it, the door will open. Now about that. All both these blocks are locked in place because you can't push a block when it's against the wall. You can't pull one either. By the way, I should also make a little mention that these ice block pushing puzzles were absent in the Master Quest version of the Ice Cavern, so I guess they moved them over here or something like that. Uh, oh, poopers. Keys returned. I'm just going to attempt to ignore them <laughs> and get over to the door. Hopefully, this should work out, I think. Crack, burn, baby, burn fast before the keys get me. No! <laughs> Filthy little vermin. All right, go through this door, and you got yourself another light barrier thingy. Nope, nope. <laughs> Not that. Uh, I'll hit these things for the fun of it. E. Got anything? Nah, nothing of interest. And boop! Pops like a balloon. Oh god, please don't rape me. Please, I I don't want to be your fiancé. Please! No, don't touch me! Oh, okay, she's just transporting me out of this place. <sighs> I got a little bit scared there. <sighs> okay, uh, gonna take a little breather here, so I'm gonna end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go to the Shadow Barrier area.